if the art style in this game, or, you know, minimalistic art style in this game, looks familiar to you, congratulations, you play way too many Flash games. Uh, but if it doesn't, uh, this game is made by the same person that made Mine of Sight, a game about Minesweeper mixed with a whole bunch of other weird and interesting mechanics. I covered it on the channel, go back and watch it, it's a really interesting game. Pixoji is a mix of, not Minesweeper per se, there's a blocky puzzle thing that I'm not familiar of the name of, but it's also mixed with nonograms, and anything nonogram related I'm in 100% already, but there's also other mechanics, and it's just as strangely depthful as Mine of Sight, but completely almost different. It's weird, and I like it, and let's play it, and I'll show you what I mean. So, the base game that everything else is built upon is this one mechanic. These box-squared tiles that have numbers under them. Simply put, these numbers indicate what purple or how many purple tiles are supposed to touch them. Okay? So... This six number, right here, is already connected to six squares. This counts uh, the square itself and diagonals. Horizontal, vertical, diagonals, everything the light touches. And the square itself. So, we have this, 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 this. That six is now covered. You don't have to worry about that six. The four next to it also is covered because it, along with these three other tiles, are now touching it. Which means these two tiles next to it are never going to have anything on them. So we gray them out. This is the game mechanic that the game is built on. To, you know, do all of this, uh, you press left click, hold, or, you know, just click you know, you can click and drag or just, you know, keep clicking. Uh, but also, right-click turns everything gray, even the purple ones that you've already gotten. We don't need to do that for those, though. And then zero, of course, means nothing touches here. This already has a four here. This five means that. Yay! And that is the baseline game. Where it goes from there is just is just weird, and I like it. So I I, I slightly remember because it's been a while that there was a mechanic in Mine of Sight kind of similar to this, but it is completely different. So this is this is throwing me off slightly, but I think I understand it thusly as well. Uh, like nonograms. I love those. I fucking love nonograms. Um, we have little triangles on the side of our big cube. Those indicate how many purple tiles are in that line. With also the fact that we have the numbered squares that we all know already. Uh, we combine them together and we get ourselves something. Let's find out. Uh, so, 9, here, obviously, covered in all 9s. Simple as that. And since we have an 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, is already filled there. So we have a really, really good baseline start here, okay? If we see here, though, we have a 3, which is already now touching 3. So we don't need to touch these or any of those. Those are clean nothing out of them, okay? Which means this two, the only places that that can go are right here. And this one still has like two spots left. Oh, and this is a nine as well, so we can fill in that nine 
as we go. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This five is covered, so we can cover up what is not necessary. Uh, this zero is right here, so we'll easily take care of that. Uh, this line here says there's four, and there's only one place to go with that left. So that's that, along with this five, so we'll put that there, and along with this five, so we'll put that there. Which means this three, I spat everywhere, as I said three, uh, these, those get grayed out. So that means that, which means this four, touching one, two, three, so we still have to worry about that. Uh, this two is touching now two, so we can exit clear that out. Uh, let's see, seven is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we color those in. One is now touching that, so we clear that, one, two, three, four, five, six, because there's a six there. Uh, then, since there's another two here, we know something goes here, which is probably for the four. That actually makes complete sense, the four should go there, but we'll, we'll give it a minute here. Uh, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Unlike nonograms, it's not in a straight line. We actually do need to, there are gaps and stuff. Uh, speaking of gaps here, this four is cleared. So we can just cover that up completely. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is covered, so that does not go anywhere. Um, let's see, four, one, two, three, four has to go there. Easy enough. Uh, which means this 2 is done, but also this 1 is done, 3 has been covered, so we're good on that. Which means this 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is there. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one more needs to be a 6. Alright, let's now go into the numbers, which means 1, 2, 4 is not gonna, three, this 3 is not gonna help, this 4 is not gonna help. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's still an, enough missing that... Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot right here. This 4 has only 4 places to go, so... Meh. Uh, now that that 5 is taken care of, that 6 can be taken care of. 1, 2, 3, 4, which means that's taken to that. That's there. That needs to go here, and we are set. Oh, it's a kitty! So that is, well, it's not really the entirety of the game. There's still a whole bunch of other stuff that needs to be taken care of with a mechanic that I actually really, really like. Here, let's uh, let's go to this m next mechanic, and uh, we'll cover that, and hopefully it won't be as confusing. So we now are dealing with shapes that are already on the board. These dotted, outliny shapes are very interesting to me. I really, really, really like this. Okay, so if we compare and contrast the lines that we already know, you know, the numbers on the side, little green triangles, we know what is supposed to go certain places. So, for instance, this one, this this only only one, this little lonely one is the only loneliest number. Um, needs to have one tile on this row. That seems kind of a far-fetched thing to pick out one from all of that, but it's actually very easy to start this puzzle because if we click on this symbol right here in just one of its spots, the entire shape gets lit up. So each shape indicates, like, you have to color in all of the shape, right? So that means this one does not encompass this shape because it counts as three, so we have to gray it out. Which means this four that goes here means there's only four tiles here, so two, three, and four. There you go on that. So now we have more shapes covered. This three down here, gray it out. This three right here, well, it can't be connected to this shape because that would make it four. So that now we have one and one. Uh, I 
three here. Well, there's a two and a two, which makes this need to be placed. Because then the other two can't add up to three. It has to be one or the other, so we'll leave it at that. Then... Let's see. The two here is still good. The one... Oh, two has been filled out there. Simple as that. Four. This kind of has to be a four, that, because can't add three to make it numbers. Uh, let's see. This two, then, is covered up. This four is then taken out. This three is there. This three is there. And we figured it out. See, I like these puzzle mechanics. They're weird, and they're different, and it, it, it makes me think differently, because I have played pretty much every single logic puzzle, and I know their mechanics, so seeing a different logic puzzle with a completely different mechanics that are not anywhere related to anything else is really refreshing, and it actually makes my mind have to work. Yeah, it makes me very, very happy. So, if you're concerned about level variety, just like in Mine of Sight, there are a hell of a lot of levels, with a hell of a lot of more mechanics as there is, too. I've stopped at number 20, because it's actually gotten difficult, and uh, I haven't even touched 21 here. I don't know what that heart symbol means, but I'm gonna find out. And then we keep going. There's a crown symbol. There's a whited out heart. There's a thing on 51 that I have no idea what that is. Uh, there's a smiley face symbols and a pitcher of water on 81. What? And then there's some app things and a mechanic that's only available in the app. I'm actually considering getting this app because I actually have a tablet now that can play games on it. I'm actually curious. Let's let's go into 21 here and uh, see what this mechanic is so that I can end this video and actually keep playing. Some pixels feel very lonely. Okay. But the heart cares. The heart only sees pixels who are alone. Okay. This pixel is lonely. It does not touch any other pixel. This pixel is not isolated because it touches another pixel. So the heart did not see it. So we exit out. The heart sees one isolated pixel. And this heart sees two isolated pixels. I'm getting it, the heart sees zero. Let's try some easy levels to practice using the hearts. Okay. That's a pretty interesting idea. This this is also, I want to point out, for this game, and the last game that the Mine of Sight uh, was made, um, the tutorials are really nice. Like, it eases you in on these really strange puzzle mechanics, because it knows they are very strange puzzle mechanics. So, you know, it's it's nice to have this variety, but also be taught well. Uh, some pixels are lonely, but the hearts cares and sees the isolation. Okay, so, from what we've learned, and what we can use from other mechanics, uh, this right here does not... There's nothing there. So, which means that goes there, but that and that is there. Oh, because we're also dealing with mechanics of the left and the right. Everything is isolated. Okay. Gonna, gonna take me a minute to figure this out. Uh, two, of course, is here. Nothing goes here. And nothing goes here. Which means something goes here. Nothing goes here and here. Which means these are there. And that and that. Okay. Still... Okay. Oh, dear. Um... 
All right, well, to start off, this two can't go here, so two goes there. So those two are isolated pixels, which means that and that, that and that get grayed out, which means two goes here and here, and one is isolated to, I'm, oh, three would be, no, three wouldn't go there because it's isolated. No, there's no isolated things, so that would be there. There's one isolated pixel, so that pixel, eight. okay, oh, okay, okay, I'm seeing it now, so that means that and that get picked. Hey, I'm understanding it now. One more? One more. Okay, maybe not one more. Jesus fuck. Um Okay, so zero gets edged out there along with this zero. Easy enough. That gets covered. That has to be going there along with that, which means that also is there because three. Um, there's no isolated stuff, so we'll figure that out in a minute. This is completely blanked, which means this three goes right there. One, two, three, four, five is there. One, two, three, four, which means that. One, two, three, four, yeah, uh-huh. One, two, three, four. yeah, that, so that one's there. One, two, three which is not there, two, three, four, which means those are there, which means that has to go there, which means two isolated ones, so that and that get covered. That means that doesn't go anywhere. One, two, three, four, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four gets caught off there, which means the one is there, three has already been touched, and then there's an isolated thing here, which I'm gonna assume here. Maybe not, no, because this one here is already touching something, so that and that go there, which means that goes there. Yes! If, uh, if you are liking how this is turning out, I don't see why you wouldn't. Uh, the link to this game will be in the description below. My name has been Dark Arts, and yay for new mechanics of logic puzzles. I love this stuff so, so much.